Hey guys, my name is Shai, and I just had to turn on my camera to kind of document something. <laughs> um, I want to talk through a kind of experience I just had where everything just kind of clicked, and I want to remember this. Like, I want to really remember this because I feel so good about having just, ah, uh, like, I don't want to be too dramatic, but it feels like an energetic breakthrough, right? Like, I finally, <laughs> finally really integrated something I've been working on forever. So... The story will seem a little bit repetitive like and obvious at first like I'm gonna be saying things and you're gonna be like well yeah yeah obviously right <laughs> but um just uh i'm just gonna start from the beginning and talk through it so i woke up this morning and i was feeling pretty uneasy that specific type of like uneasiness in my heart center where i i, I know that i'm like releasing something right and i know it might not be that fun <laughs> Um, so I get out of bed and I the first card I draw this morning is the death card for myself And I was actually happy to see that because I was like Okay, what am I releasing? I am I am leaving something behind today and I was like, yes, yes, yes What am I leaving behind today? I'm ready to move on ready to move up and a Couple hours go by <laughs> and I'm kind of sitting around not vibing my best and I was kind of kind of a little hard on myself. I was like, you know, you should be vibing higher than this. You should be feeling better because I had a very specific thing on my mind. And so for me, of course, it was like my scarcity mentality, right? My scarcity mentality, I could feel it closing in around me. And that was just, this was all happening because um, last week, my hours at my day job got cut, um, not permanently, but just for a while. So <laughs> Um, I only worked like eight hours last week and so it's like the 7th of February and I'm already thinking how am I going to pay the rent? How am I going to pay the rent and doing all of that? But like I know better than that, right? Like at this point, like I know, I know better than that. I know that I have no reason to have a scarcity mentality even if my hours get cut at work, right? I Like I know better than that. And so I was like, I got to get, I got to get over this. I got to get over this. Um, and I just kept repeating to myself, like reminding myself over and over and over again that if I'm concentrating on the lack of something, then that is just putting me in resistance and that I am just feeling frustrated and worrying. And the more I am frustrated and the more I'm worried, the more I'm closing myself from closing myself off from receiving, right? I can't receive money if I'm sitting there all like uh, uh, all like garbled up and stressed out and worried about money. It like just doesn't work that way, right? I need I, so I like I know that's the whole thing with this, is like I know better. So <laughs> couple hours go by and I'm really just sitting with this just like trying to once and for all be done be done with this and I was listening to a lot of videos by Abraham Hicks um, she's like a collective channeled by Esther Hicks I absolutely recommend them just type in Abraham Hicks a whole bunch of stuff will come up I've been binging her videos fantastic <laughs> um, and so I kept thinking about what Abraham has been saying, you know, just reminding everybody like that you are a vibrational being and that your vibration creates your reality. And if you want to receive anything, all you need to do is click into place, vibrate with it. Don't resist it. Don't be in resistance, right? Relax and open up to receive, align vibrationally with what you want, and then you're off to the races. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> running this through my head, reminding myself, reminding myself. And... Finally, I just got it. I just understood it like on an embodied level, right? Because I had all these thoughts. I know all these things like where, you know, I know this like art of vibration and all that. And it's, isn't it hilarious? Because there's like a two year track record of me making videos of me going, you know, <laughs> you create your own reality with your vibration, right? I, like I say stuff like that all the time. I know it. Uh, and I live it a lot of the time in a lot of areas in my life. But I just, I couldn't quite up until now, like get over this hurdle in terms of getting rid of my scarcity mindset. Even that, I should, probably shouldn't even talk about it like that, right? <laughs> I can just move towards an abundance mindset is what I want to be doing. <sighs> so how do I how do I describe the moment I had when this all kind of clicked into place? I realized that I had subconscious programming running underneath the surface. I had this subconscious mindset about my cosmic frustration, right? Some of you have seen me talk about this where sometimes I just have these moments where I am so frustrated with the universe. Like I'm so frustrated. I get, I, I used to get, I used to get so frustrated with the universe, get so frustrated with my reality or my life or something stupid and specific about my life. And I would just get really frustrated. And why was I frustrated, right? Why was I frustrated? Even though I know better on a subconscious level, I was still 
running this script, right? Running this idea, running this program subconsciously that something outside of myself is creating my reality, right? Because why would I be frustrated about my financial situation if I am the one who has created it, right? Why would I be frustrated? Why, why, why would I be frustrated with the whole universe? Sometimes I, I would literally get frustrated with the whole universe and I would sit there and ask questions like, why? Or like, why? Why can't I just have more money, right? Why can't I just get what I want? Why isn't the universe giving me what I want? And then I would, I would just run questions like that through my head all day. And like, what is that telling me, right? What is that telling me? That's telling me that I somehow subconsciously think that something else was controlling my reality or creating my reality. I, I like, <laughs> this is what really gets me. This is why I'm laughing because it's like, I know better than that. I absolutely 100% know better than that. I, I, I think all the time, I know that I'm the creator of my own reality and, and that there is no power outside of myself. I know that I am an emanation of source consciousness. And it's like, I know all of this. I, I live this, <laughs> I, I talk about this, but ah, there, there was this subconscious mindset where it's like, even though I knew all these things, they hadn't quite trickled down all the way into my body. And I know there's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna have more experiences like this where something I've known in my mind for a long time, ah, oh, when you finally get it into your body and you finally embody it, then you can level up with it. And so I just finally had this moment going like, wow, I need to take like responsibility for the fact that I am literally creating my own reality. It's like, I've been saying this, I've been knowing this, but I haven't really been internalizing it. Like not a hundred percent, right? I did, I was not a hundred percent internal internalizing it. And I mean, that's fine because apparently I had a really, really stuck subconscious mindset that I just took all this time to finally shake loose, <laughs> took all this time to finally, finally shake loose. And it took a rather extreme amount of frustration to finally shake that loose. It was like, it really needed to be hammered out of me. <laughs> um, so <sighs> frustration, frustration is, that's like, that's like, I think frustration happens, especially if you're frustrated with the universe or you're just asking, like yelling, shaking your fist to the heavens and asking why, right? I think that type of frustration comes from these kind of really, really, really stuck, deep, deep seated subconscious beliefs that you're just really trying hard to shake yourself loose, <laughs> loose of. And the solution to all of this is to embody, like to really internalize on a whole new level. Like you already know it in your mind, right? You already know that you create your own reality. You already know that you are a creator being and all, all of this, but it's like to actually get that fully, fully, fully integrated. And then maybe, you know, time's gonna go by and I'm gonna have a new level of fully, fully <laughs> integrating um, the truth that I create my own reality with my vibration. <sighs> So I just, I just had to get this out to like mark this moment, right? To mark this moment where I actually truly, truly, truly take accountability for the fact that everything that's happening in my reality is a product of my own vibration, right? And, you know, for whatever it's worth, it, 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 whatever you guys are working on, right? If it's not a scarcity mentality, an abundance thing for you, maybe um, you're trying to manifest a relationship, right? And so just feel like vibe with that for a second, right? If you are constantly vibrating in frustration and loneliness, right? If that's the vibe that you're in, then how are you going to align with your relationship if you're constantly just repeating in your head, I'm alone, I'm alone. Why is the universe keeping me alone? Why doesn't anybody love me, right? If that's the vibration that's running through your system, there is some deep, 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 deep seated subconscious belief that is like rattling around, right? Rattling around, creating that frustration, creating that despair, creating all of that. And <laughs> that's fine because you will, this frustration will rattle you around until you finally get to the point where like me, like today, I finally was just <laughs> got to the point where I, where the, where the switch flipped, right? The switch flipped. And I finally understood that I had been, I finally recognized this subconscious belief that I had just been torturing myself with. <laughs> so <sighs> that's where I'm at. Taking responsibility <laughs> for the like clarity of my vibration and noticing that when I am frustrated, especially when I am frustrated with the universe, if I am frustrated with something outside of myself, if I'm projecting the blame outside of myself, if I am shaking my fist at the heaven going, why are you doing this to me? That is a huge, massive red flag for me. 
<laughs> to turn back to my vibration and think about how is my vibration? What am I actually vibrating like, right? What am I actually vibrating like? And then from there, I can start to release that subconscious belief and just vibrate in the way that I want, right? So if I want abundance, I'm from this second forward, I need to be as often as I can, making sure I am vibrating in a state of abundance and not in the scarcity mentality of yesterday. Right? So I think, I think that's it. Yes, I don't, I don't got anything else. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.